In this video, I want to discuss a condition called avascular necrosis or AVN. This is where bone tissue dies due to an interruption of the blood supply to it. It can affect the hip, the knee, sometimes the shoulder. And I want to talk about a potentially new treatment for it, exosome therapy. I'm Dr. David Geyer, triple board certified orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and anti-aging and regenerative medicine expert. I help you feel, look, and perform your best regardless of age or injury. As with all my videos, this is not medical advice. It's meant for general information and educational purposes only, especially when we're talking about regenerative orthopedic treatments. These are experimental by and large, including exosomes, which are definitely considered experimental by the FDA. So I'm not promoting them. I'm not saying you should do them. I'm not promoting myself or my practice. I just want to put information out there as up to date as possible and hopefully in language that's easy to understand so you can potentially know what's out there or potentially coming, maybe talk to your doctor about it and make the decision that's best for you. Okay, back to AVN. Again, a condition where the bone dies due to an interruption of the blood supply and can cause severe pain, especially if it's not treated early. Severe pain, the joint can collapse and a lot of times lead to a very quick and at a young age need for a joint replacement surgery. Typical options, things like core decompression in the hip or bone grafting can help in the early stages of avascular necrosis. But now people are like, hey, maybe regenerative treatments might be a better option to maybe slow or stop the damage, maybe even reverse the damage. Okay, exosomes. What are exosomes? These are microscopic, what are called extracellular vesicles. Some people call them microscopic bubbles, microscopic envelopes containing a variety of bioactive material, proteins, lipids, growth factors that one cell releases to another cell, cell to cause something to happen. They're involved in cell to cell communication and to cause regeneration and repair of a variety of treatments. Now, in the setting of avascular necrosis, what the thought is, is that these exosomes, when injected directly into the affected bone or joint, usually under imaging to get to the right place, again, in a minimally invasive procedure, 30 minutes or so, maybe four, uh, 45, depending on where you're talking about, you're trying to get that bone uh, to basically heal and help that joint, basically preserve that joint, slow the progression, maybe even reverse that progression, again, through a minimally invasive procedure, hopefully trying to avoid surgery. Now, how would it actually do that? Well, at a cellular level, and the studies are very early, mostly animal models and again, cellular studies, but exosomes have been shown to promote what we call angiogenesis or new blood vessel formation, which in this setting of basically cut off blood supply, very important restoring circulation to that necrotic bone. Exosomes also reduce inflammation. They've been shown in st cell studies to inhibit cell death. They've been shown to stimulate bone regeneration. And I've done a whole video on uh, the different pathways involved in fracture repair and where exosomes might be helpful to help broken bones heal, um, but also uh, to deliver micro RNAs to, to the basically necrotic bone, trying to uh, proliferate endothelial cells and um, bone cells to basically help it heal. Again, that bone uh, vessel formation coming in, trying to deliver blood to that area, also trying to help that bone heal. Again, these are mostly animal studies uh, looking at exosomes derived from bone marrow stem cells but have been shown in early studies to improve the bone uh, density, the improved bone structure in the setting of avascular necrosis. So potentially very exciting. Avascular necrosis is a devastating condition. Once it happens, uh, it is very hard, even with some of the early surgeries, even with core decompression and bone grafting, very, very hard to avoid a joint replacement. And sometimes you're talking people in their 20s or even 30s, joint replacement is not a great option long term at that age. So if something like this would be helpful to help not just reduce pain and improve function, mobility, things like that, but potentially avoid surgery, especially if you can catch this in the early stages of avascular necrosis, this could potentially be a game changer uh, due to the anti-inflammatory and the regenerative effects. And again, because you're not injecting live cells like you are with stem cell treatments, potentially less injection site reactions, uh, potentially immune uh, responses, and 
there are theories of tumor formation uh, alleged with stem cell treatments. You would not have that potentially with exosome treatments. But again, I want to tell you this is just, I urge caution. These are preclinical trials, animal models, some early human trials. We need large human trials, randomized control studies, comparing them to existent treatments. Again, it's not FDA approved for avascular necrosis or any orthopedic treatment. And so it is something to know. Looks like the, the risks are minimal, if anything. Obviously, that is not uh, fully clear long term. And, and that is uh, something we will get more data on. No human trials that I'm aware of in terms of avascular necrosis, but it is something that is at least potentially exciting in the coming months and years, maybe worth talking to your doctor about. Again, it's experimental, not covered by insurance and likely won't be for years, if not decades, but it is something that you could at least consider. Talk to your doctor, your orthopedic surgeon about and see if that is potentially right for you. All right. I have written an entire ebook uh, 70, 80 pages called the arthritis solution, but it's not just for arthritis. It's about all kinds of orthopedic injuries and all kinds of regenerative treatments, all the way from supplements to something like exosomes and anything and everything in between. You can get that free by clicking the link in the description under this video. If you have an injury and you want to hear about options other than the traditional surgery and steroid injections, want to talk to an orthopedic surgeon about other options, you can click. There's a link in the description under this video that takes you to my website, to a contact form on that website, and you can potentially schedule an appointment to see me. Also, I'd love to hear about your injury and your experience with it. Leave those in the comments below. Just understand I can't respond to the comments and offer medical advice, but sometimes I will answer those questions in a future video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, click the bell to be notified when I release a new video, and when I start my Ask Dr. Geyer live shows. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to helping you feel, look, and perform better than ever.